Hello, welcome back to Beauty Bee. Today I'm just going to be doing a really quick, easy, everyday makeup look. Um, usually I do this and it takes three minutes, four minutes. Probably take a little bit longer because I'm talking, but let's get started. So I already have sunscreen on and I don't tend to wear complexion products. So foundation, concealer, powder, I don't feel that I really need them. I definitely don't have perfect skin. I mean, you have eyes, you can see. But I am at a point where I feel confident enough in how I look without any face makeup. So let's get started with some blush. I'm going to use this Tarte Harmony blush. You can see, I like this. I use this a lot. This is just a mini size, but it still lasted me ages. I've used it three or four times a week for like a year and a half. I had the uh, party one that they put out in a, sorry, you can hear my little makeup box rustling. I had the Tarte party one that they put out in the Sephora birthday gift a couple years ago. And I think I used that like for two years, probably four times a week before that ended. For my eyeshadow primer, I'm going with Wet n Wild Photo Focus. This is my second two of this. I really like it. Um, I think this is not quite the cheapest at the drugstore. I think that the e.l.f. one is. That one that comes in the tube with a, like a doe foot. Um, but I had really bad luck with the, that one. Uh, this one I find if you don't get it blended in, you get kind of weird crusty things at the corner of your eye, which is not ideal, but it's okay. Um, let's see. I want to go pretty neutral today. So I'm going to go with more Wet n Wild. It's a favorite around here. This Silent Treatment. Yes, their Silent Treatment quad. It's their sort of cooler neutral. Um, I'm going to use this shade and this kind of mauve transition shade I should actually use not just use my viewfinder for this a little speck on my eye what was that we didn't invite that one to the party again we're keeping this pretty neutral and i want it to be i like it easy so usually what i'll do now is put a lighter shade over the first two thirds, maybe three quarters of my eye, using just using my finger. I'm using the the brow bone shade in this in this palette. It's pretty easy. This is pretty low fuss. I could probably do without the mirror if I really wanted to, even, but thanks for this shade. I find that this particular shade wears really well throughout the day. Um, I feel like it looks a little bit yellow right now, which I don't hate. It's nice. But as this fades down, at least on my skin tone, it tends to look very skin-like. It just looks like my lids have a nice shimmer to them, which I really appreciate. And we're going to keep with our fingers for this third shade. Um, I'm guessing this was called Eyelid, if I understand the pattern that the Wet n Wild naming people use. I'm just going to get a little bit of that on my finger and put it on the outer third quarter-ish of my eye. Again, I grabbed my mirror for this, but I don't know that I really need it. To me, that looks pretty good. You know, we'll see how it actually turned out when I edit later. Pretty sure that legally you're required to make a stupid face while you put eyeliner on. That was me just smudging a little more of that gray right under my lash line. I don't wear eyeliner either. 
So that's my eyes about done. I'm going to put some mascara on. This I'll need the mirror for again or else I will poke my eye out. This is the Milk Makeup Kush Mascara that came in the Milk Birthday Gift this year. I'm not very impressed with this mascara. I think it looks really nice when I first put it on. Let's just see in just a sec. I'm just going to put it on my top lashes. I don't really care about the bottom ones. But... Over the course of the day, this just... I just get little flakies all over my under eye, and I think it's ridiculous. Which is weird, because this is pretty pricey. I don't know exactly how much the full-size tube is, but it's probably in the $20 range. And I get the ones from CoverGirl. I don't really care which one's from CoverGirl. I just get whichever is on sale when I need a new tube. And they work fine. So I don't know what's up with that. I'm actually getting really close to being done here. Um, eyebrow pencil. Tried to open the, uh, the other end. That was not going to help me. This is the e.l.f. one in blonde. I just use a little bit to darken up my eyebrows a little. Um, I have pretty average brows. I don't necessarily feel like I need it, but I do like the way it looks. And I'm just going to brush them up. I don't actually have any highlight with me. So we're going to use this light shade again from the palette. And on the same brush that I used for the blush, just a tiny little bit. Actually got a lot more than I intended there. Right on the cheekbones. Sometimes when I'm using a little bit of a lighter highlight, I'll also put it under my brow, but this is a hair too dark for that. Now, lips. Because I'm wearing this red orange shirt that you can barely see any of. That was a beautiful angle, I'm sure. I'm going to go with this uh, lip crayon from ColourPop. This is the just a tint in the shade Chimichanga. I really like this shade. I bought this in the twin pack that has um, chimichanga and sort of a red, like a dark raspberry shade. I really thought that I would use the raspberry shade a lot more, but I find myself reaching for this quite a bit. You see, I, I mean, I've used up a third of it, maybe close to half, and I don't foresee myself uh, letting it be anytime soon. Well, that's the finished look. How is it? Thanks for watching, and just like and subscribe if you'd like to see more budget-conscious beauty and fashion videos. Till then!